This video is sponsored by Magic, the easiest way to add authentication to your app. This is Magic Wallet, an Ethereum wallet that requires only your email to operate. The code for Magic Wallet is open source and you can use it as you please. In this video, I'll go over the architecture and the packages I've used to build Magic Wallet. This way, you'll familiarize yourself with the tech. At its core, Magic Wallet is the foundation for a DeFi wallet. Magic Wallet uses magic to allow users to log into an Ethereum wallet that only they can access. This allows them to receive, send, and track the balances of their ETH and ERC20 tokens. You could monetize Magic Wallet within minutes just by adding an on-ramp, such as Transac or Ramp. You could also extend Magic Wallet by adding a swapping functionality and a lending section. A couple projects with great documentation are Uniswap and Compound. I'll try to get a grant from both to extend Magic Wallet. Let's see how that goes. Let's dive into the code. Magic Wallet is built with Next.js and TypeScript. If you're familiar with Next.js, the only folder that should surprise you is the ABI folder. ABIs are machine-readable interfaces that tell TypeScript how to interact with smart contracts. Authentication, provided by Magic, is handled in the user context. The only notable method is called Get Address and Provider, which will store the public Ethereum address of the wallet, as well as the provider, which is the entity that can read and write data on the blockchain. There's a method called persist user, which will log the user back in on subsequent visits. If you look at the pages, you'll see that we only have one. In the home page, we check if the user is logged in. If they're not, we show a login slash signup form. And if they are, we show the wallet. The wallet component displays the user if balance, address and tokens. If balances and token balances are fetched through a couple of hooks called use if balance and use ERC20 balances. At the bottom of the wallet page, there's a couple of buttons to change page. The receiver component, which simply shows the address and a QR code, and the send component, which allows to send if or tokens. I'll discuss the send component last. Learning to code a DeFi wallet requires learning a library that allows to interact with smart contracts. In this case, Ethers. Ethers tries to make it as simple as possible to interact with smart contracts. When working with Ethers, you'll have to work with three main classes. Providers, which scan the chain and send you back data. Signers, which sign transactions. And contracts, the smart contracts you can interact with. You'll get a provider out of the box by working with Magic. You can get the signer by calling provider.getSigner. Once you have a provider and a signer, you can do basic operations such as sending if via signer.send transaction. Numbers are represented via a class called big number. A big number is just a representation that also has useful methods such as dot add and dot mol to add and multiply. As for contracts, the first step to use a contract is to know where it was deployed, which means its address. Then you'll need the contract ABI so that Ethers knows how to interact with it. In order to sign the transaction to a contract, you can add a signer when setting up the contract. If you want to use the contract in read-only mode, you can just pass a provider instead. Check the method sendERC20 in the file utils transactions.ts for more. You can see that I set up a contract by passing an address, an ABI, and a signer. In this case, I pass a token address, and that's because tokens are contracts as well. I can then call contract.transfer to transfer the specified amount to the specific address. In order to keep track of tokens, you need to know their addresses. To add this functionality, I've used an emerging standard created by Uniswap called Token Lists. If you check utils token.ts, you can see that all I'm doing is a request to a known server managed by Uniswap. In the future, Uniswap will release an open source package to track token lists. When that happens, you can refactor this to use their SDK. Fetch tokens returns a list of tokens with their name, symbol, decimal and address. Once you have this list, you can send the tokens and check 
your balance. In order to bulk check user balances, I've used a solution from the unmaintained package called if-balance-checker. The author deployed a smart contract which allows to fetch all token balances in one request, rather than having to iterate over each token. As you can see in get ether balances, all we do is get the list of tokens and a list of user addresses, and then we query the contract. I then enrich the token list data with the balances and sort them. The function get ethers balances is used by the use ERC20 balances hook, explaining how the data is displayed in the UI. Once we have a way to know the balance of our tokens and send them, we can finish the tour by looking at the send component. The send component allows you to send a specified amount of tokens while setting up gas prices. I added a couple of nice to haves to simplify the user experience. There's a utility to check gas prices from the ETH gas station API, which you can easily extend to offer multiple options. Also, the amount in inputs are strings, which I then parse and convert to big numbers via the use memo hook on line 52. Transactions return a transaction receipt, which contains details about the transaction. Since I've used TypeScript, you can easily display extra details on the confirmation page. Since you could send the maximum amount of ETH that you own, the function send ETH uses a utility function called get max ETH after gas, which is also unit tested. And this function ensures that you can always send the maximum amount of ether and the app will figure out the actual send amount versus the transaction fee. In order to deploy Magic Wallet, you just need to get a Magic Public Key. Then you can fork the repo, deploy it with Vercel for sweet load optimization, and you're gonna be good to go. I'd be surprised if this takes you more than three minutes. I want to take a moment to thank Magic for sponsoring the development of the project. The original TypeScript template comes from the Next.js example repo and was coded by at Eric D. Stock. And also thank you to my assistant Nick for helping me code the UI, as well as Alex the UI Viking for the design. If you believe that DeFi is the future, you now have a way to start your own wallet company. I hope you take advantage of this opportunity and I look forward to seeing you succeed.